final exam. Oh, man, that just, yeah. the smell is disgusting. What is that smell? of this playhouse. Let's hope they're all good. Oh, it's an envelope. It's dated 86, Butte College. People, someone's exam results. Final exam. I'm not going to give the name out. Six extra credits. Date fall semester 1985. Course grade B. Ah, interesting. And just left for the winds of time. This particular person likes class discussions casual and opened lectures interesting and brought to a something or other level interesting material group projects and term papers the individual presentations informative with something or other something or other information dislikes disruptions of students talking out of turn true story this has kind of been trashed. Yeah, it's in the outside's in really rough shape as well. But it's all like school paperwork. Tell you something, the person who's done this, what do you call it? The, the, the cursive writing? Cursive writing. We used to just call it joined up writing in mm. England. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful writing. There's a, a Christmas card, a big spider, two mum, Happy Christmas, and just tons and tons of old schoolwork, kids' schools. Yeah. It's kind of sad, isn't it? It is sad to see all these personal belongings left. I mean, just to the elements. Because, you know, what, what did happen to this family? Why did they have to leave? Those who walk alone are never lonely. When they hear the voices of the sea whispering along with the wind, when they see the face of the sea smiling back at the day, or when they feel the hand of the sea reaching out cool fingers to comfort and caress. This is a calendar, but... It doesn't say a year. January. Just January. No actual year. And then... On the back, I'm not going to say the name because it's the name of a little boy. One day I wanted to go on a boat ride, so I did. I went to Oroville Lake. Oh, I went to Oroville Lake. It was a fun ride until something went wrong. Uh oh. I stayed there for five hours before I got the boat running. Then I left and got home and I ate lunch. It was good. The end. Good story. Has a little bit of everything. And it smells of... Um, it's mildewy, big time in there. Yeah. But how sad. Absolutely. Walk around to the... So I'm not sure. So we know the date there was 80... 86, 85, 86. I wonder what they're doing now. I know. Because they would be, what, 85? So let's say they were, I don't know, maybe not 18, but... So they'd be in their 40s. Yeah. No. Older. No, they would be graduated then, so yeah. Be 60s. 50s, 60s. So it looks like, I mean... They've just done an add-on. Yeah. I wonder how many people lived in that house. Well, we know two. 
a girl and a boy. Man, it's, a, it's, it's just rubbish everywhere. A small house. So. Oh. Again, it's oh, just, just trash. Yeah, just. There's tons of uh, glass uh, bottle jars here. Jars, magazines, paperwork. I mean, just the drawers have been. It's almost like this was just stored in here, but. It looks like somebody's come in and emptied all the drawers out and just thrown everything on the floor. Yeah. But I mean, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? So they left, looks like they left in a hurry, but then uh, the whole lot looks yeah, like it's left in I a hurry. I think the whole, there's way, a lot, what, what, one, two, three, is it four more houses at least? Five? At least four more houses and a trailer. I think the further in the forest you go, the more you're finding. This is what, it's just all the rubbish everywhere that's been left. This kind of makes me feel that they should have cleaned up. Yeah, and I mean, I'm sure hooligans have come up and just tossed everything around. Okay, so there's something dead. Yeah, and then there's... there's definitely something. Ooh. Look at all the flies. Yeah, so there's something dead around here. I can't smell anything. Uh, I can see uh, little remnants halfway into the house. I don't know if that's a... Is that an animal? Probably a rabbit or something, or a squirrel. Oh, it looks like the tail looks like a squirrel. Okay. So. So nothing too drastic. No. And then. Uh, Look at the old suitcase. Is that a snake skin coming out of it? No, I see it. You being silly. <laughs> yeah. It's empty. <laughs> Apart from the snake. No, it's empty. Apart from the book. A disabled reader. Huh. Yeah. Where to next? I know, I say which one first. Should we do these two and then go over to the big one and then see what else is? Awaiting in the woods, because like I said, the further we go in, the more we're finding. The floors are. Uh, yeah. They don't look very. No. It... Oh, that just. I felt that move. <laughs> but again, just there's another door at the other back, at the other side. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll walk over there and take a peek in that side. Not a lot of rat droppings that I can see. Funnily enough. Oh no, this uh, this is all spongy. Soft. What's back in there? That's just oh, I cans. See. It's kind of like a pantry stroke, shed stroke. You know, throw it all. Yeah. Toys, paint, uh, paint tins, coffee cans. Oh, it might have. Ah, oh, no. I tell you what, it was. It was the laundry. Yeah. Yeah, because you've got the pipes there for the washing machine. And dryer. Oh, yeah, I see him. Uh, then another thing I noticed here, the the floor, if I can get a, a peek in that, the living room floor, how it's sloping way down towards the left side of the camera and then dipping in the middle. It's hard to see on the camera. Like I said, we'll try to walk over to the other side. Oh, there's lots of uh, insects. I just want to... So this was the kitchen. Pasta, right? Oh! I don't know what that is, but it's something not very nice in a jar. Oh, really? That's, uh, that's yeah. I say outside here in the fridge, there's a bunch of pickles and things left. Now, dare I chance going in? Diligently. 
Ooh, that's a huge mouse nest. I don't know if you'd be able to get that on camera. Oh yeah. They've had a field day. Yeah, I don't know if um, this is where it starts to no, bend. No, no, no. Yeah. That's weak. That's super weak. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hang. All right, let's regroup. Let's go around though. Go outside. Yeah. Both almost just lost it there. So we'll walk around to the front and uh, see if we can peek in through that side. We've walked around the corner towards the front, which we were looking through. And there is no way to get in over here. The stairs are gone, but we'll try to peek the camera up. See, there is some stairs right here going up into the loft space. I can't really get a, see what's on the floor in here. Too bad. We'll continue to walk around the outside, maybe peek in all the windows. Have you and... seen uh, up the top, the star? It's like the Christmas star. Didn't see any Christmas decorations inside. No. But they still left the Christmas tree lights up. Yeah. Let's see if we boost up in there. Is it too dark for the camera? I can't tell. I'm not able to see anything, so I hope can see something in there. And then we'll... I like this. Cameras are watching you. So just another garage. Yeah, so this is the shed for the home. Just a bunch of collection Junk. of, yeah. But look at the mess. Uh, things have been put in uh, bin liners and just left rather than... So obviously they were picking Trying it up Trying to for clear rubbish, it up or something, yeah. But then just leaving it. And okay. then, uh, you know, the animals come up and go through stuff, so... Yeah. And then, yeah, here we got a vehicle, another camper, and then another home back That's here. That's got a California number plate. Yeah, it's not... Whoa. Got me. So, what is it? Looks like a little uh, Toyota. Yep, Toyota Camry. Wow. Decently clean inside. I mean, all things considered. Hmm. And over here. This has been made into a little Wendy house, which I think is really cute. For Natasha. She's got a little cook station in there. <laughs> Look at that. Now I wonder where Natasha is now. I know. She has memories of this playhouse. Let's hope they're all good. And then See if we can make our way over there. We've got a nice little horsey at this window. And I'm on some really rickety stairs. But would you look at what's inside here? Just, there's food. This almost kind of looks like a church hall. Oh, I guess it could be, yeah, it's a big building. But obviously no way in, it's too derelict. Let's poke the camera in. Did it look cool at least? Yeah, we wouldn't want to go in there though. Yeah. There's just too much rubbish everywhere. Well, judging by the stairs, I'm... And now... 
have to make my way down there. There's the back entrance, and it definitely looks like some kind of large church-like building or uh, community. maybe community center community or something center. like that. This was definitely some sort of community hall, stroke church, because of the walkway. This is just totally collapsed, but this is the roof, and it's quite ornate. That's, uh, that's what I'm guessing. I wonder how many people used to live here. I don't know. I'm going to try the front steps, which are sinking to the left. Got some books. Oh boy. Just full of rubbish. Absolutely chock a block. That's what the other side was like. Peek in through here. Oh yeah. No telling what's up in there. I haven't seen any scat though. No, that is true. Okay. On to the next building. And then these we walked over from that church building. Don't think we're gonna attempt to go in. You can see the, and the front porch is leaning really badly. The roof is gone in a lot of sections. Um, there's quite an odor coming from within these walls as well. It's the smell of death. So I don't know whether or not another animal has been yeah. caught up inside. Try to peek the camera up in though. And I don't see, I said I can't really see because it's high up. Might be able to from this side. It's an open window and then the screen's all ripped. Also watching our ice cold air coming out of there. They see that whole wall's okay. The whole wall over there is gone, so we can get a good look. And then if we continue around the back, it looks like this whole back wall is missing as well. There we go. There's a better look inside to the uh, kitchen, since this whole backside wall is kind of gone. I think that must have been the loo straight ahead. Look at what, because that, that looks like it was a bathroom basin that used to be there. Yeah. Oh no, that actually was the toilet. Look at the, the back. Well, no, that was the cutout, or the paint around the actual sink, because that was a uh, so? wall-mounted sink. Okay. And you can kind of see, it looks like moss is growing in there on the floor, so... You know there's a ton of moisture in this wood. And then that looks like we we'll, might be able to walk around to uh, the living room area through here. Deep within the undergrowth. Yeah, look it. We're in it now. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, the man, that just, yeah. the smell is disgusting. What is that smell? It's uh, something's rotting away. Haven't, oh, that's haven't, actually making me feel sick. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, could be underneath the house, but. That's uh, that. How can you be over there? That's just, that's then, putrid. Uh, we'll check out next door. Oh. It's next door's in worse shape, it looks like. This house is number five. Yeah, I mean, but how cool is it? This was all unexpected. We came out this direction to film something else and <laughs> discovered this. And like I said, we, and we literally just discovered these two off in the distance as well, so. Again, we can't end, oh no, we definitely can't enter that. Oh boy, yeah. This one is in worse shape. Peek the peek up in there. The whole of the uh, 
face. Look, it's all subsiding. Yeah. So the, the whole lot's going to come over. Foundations are sinking because trees have fallen on the top of it too. I mean, that was the bathroom. And peek up in through there. Look at the paint peeling off those cabinets and off the ceiling. Oh, wow. Oops. And I don't even know if we can make it around the back. That's thick. We'll probably get through and find that there's a... A better way. Yeah. Oh, there is actually. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. But we're through now, so we might as well carry on. Yeah. Watch the cobwebs. This old bed Got frame it. here. Lined up along the outside of the house. You feel the whole of the ground. Yeah, the whole like ground really is. Sodden. Mm -hmm. So, perhaps a bedroom in here. I don't know, but the bugs are biting. Yeah, see I'm getting back patio here. Is there an old, uh, is that a, no, I don't know what that is. Very neat. Oh, great little place. I mean, could you imagine what this place looked like? Oh, well, the whole yeah. community. You know, when it was first built back in the oh, 30s, 40s. Yeah, this place would have been amazing. Now we can venture out this direction to a few more buildings, I think. Yeah, I just want to check in the woods though, because I keep on seeing buildings tucked behind trees. This is what's known as one of the Ben Cheney mills. But this particular one was built originally in 1930 by Harry Hoare. The railroad used to come through here for the log trains throughout the 1930s right through to 1956. Yeah, Harry Hoare built this original mill in 1930. And uh, there's a, a logging logging mill yeah but it burnt down in 1945. Jeez. I don't it's always weird when mills logging mills burn down but I get wow we need to take a closer look at this guy well the story doesn't end there you know yeah so the mill burnt down in 45 and in 1947 a guy who had a Washington uh, milling co uh, company came along and bought the place in 1947. Okay. And his name was Ben Cheney. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And he operated this place right through until 1971 when he passed away. Oh, wow. So they used to cut lumber for the railway. Yeah. And this place was often referred to as Thai Town by the locals. Oh, for the railroad ties, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because there's, on either side of this building, you can see the big cement pads and they have rail going all through here. And these are giant doors. So, don't think there's an upstairs. It's pretty safe. We can walk through. Yeah, look at all the 
the wood shavings in here still. Well, I have a fun fact about Ben Cheney. Yeah. When they standardized uh, building materials to eight foot, because there was so much waste doing the railway ties, mm -hmm. Ben Cheney came up with the idea of making planks of wood two inches thick and four inches wide. The two by four. The two by four. Oh, wow. So you can thank Ben Cheney, who actually owned this mill. Right. True story. Well, that's pretty neat. So these are what we were referring to earlier. You can see in the concrete there is rail tracks that run uh, through the, the large doors of that part of the mill. So these are not for railroad per se, but just probably equipment, I would imagine. Yeah, the railroad for the logs did run through here. I think it's further down and it ran through, through from 1930s to 1956, I believe. Nice. So a few more buildings over here. This, I wonder if this was like a bunkhouse and yeah, it looks like a garage. Well, remember the people that worked here lived in the little all those little uh, houses that we just saw. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Well, I wonder if this was originally the bunkhouse way back when, and then they built the oh, town. Possibly. Oh no, this looks like an office. Oh yeah. I mean, look at the wood paneling on the wall. That <laughs> really it's dates it. So, well, it looks like it's 70s, doesn't it? But he passed away in 1970, 71. I couldn't imagine the new people coming in and building all of this. They look at the... Even the ceilings. Yeah. They put, so yeah, this would be a modern touch because like you said, originally they would have just left it as wood, I would imagine. And then brought some of these tiles in later on. And the flooring. Look how they put it down, just nailed it. Yeah, definitely an office. That's where a heater would have been. And then in here, just a store cupboard, I would say stationary cupboard, now filled with. Oh yeah, tons of rad droppings, wow. Yeah. I'll be going in there where there's no need. Nothing in there. And one last back room, huh? Look. Someone has freshly, this is freshly done because you can see have, the sawdust. Yep, cut this wood out. You can see they've just really chopped it, which again... And then pulled it. Why would you do that? I know, that makes zero sense. One, because, okay, if you're going to steal the wood off of here, you pop off the baseboard and you pop that off, which would just be a crowbar, and you can pull these things down. I mean, but sit there and cut it also. What are you... Don't give people ideas. <laughs> I mean, no, it's really difficult to, but I just, you know. Again, I mean. Oh yeah, they've done it to this whole room, basically. They've pulled everything off. What in the world? And all up here. Huh. Some people. Okay, oh, so what's up here? major rats in here too. So we've just got a little cubby, a little breezeway, and another little office, huh. or workstation with a loo. And then back here is... There's no one going out there. No, the ceilings come down. That's where the mice have uh, had a field day using the Stuff See, from the ceiling, yeah. the insulation. All right, so I guess back out the front to the garage. Have you noticed how they've brought all of the cones in as well? Yeah. <laughs> and look how the center's subsiding. Yeah, this won't be long for this world. And is this just a... Uh, oh, you can uh, smell oh, the oil. Oil hits you right away. And all the beer bottles. <laughs> so were they drinking on the job? I bet they were. Yeah, 
tons of glasses, ragu. Oh, organic. Hmm. That's a bit for the 80s, isn't it? Yeah. And well, you look, wonder if this... so half of this is wood and this is all caving in. Oh. Can you hear the creaking? That's yeah. spooky. I think it's the sunlight heating up the tin. And then they can sit on their exercise bike, do a workout when they're meant to be working. Mm-hmm. In between orders and what have you. Nuts and bolts, I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna get near it. Some powder substance. Yeah, like I say, it's just a, a rear end for a, a vehicle there. This is a bit of a mishmash. Yeah, it must be a, an add-on at some point. I've got all the pine cones that are just... Okay, an extra... Okay, let me go in. Oh, there's a door we could have just walked in. Oh, but that way it was a little more fun. So yeah, another extension to the shop. Oh, that goes into the shop. Doesn't it? No, because the doesn't. shop ends. So that would just go back outside, I would okay, think. Okay, I can't open it anyway. Because yeah, that's the exterior window. Hmm. So, just the lonely old, oh, and then we got this section. We'll have to go back that through and check out. just keeps going on and on and on. All right, so this is the... Okay. Just more parts storage, I suppose. And again, why is there so many glasses? Uh, jars. What is it about jars and abandoned places? Listen. There's a bird's nest in their fan and they're all chirping. Can you hear it? Mm. And they, and they stopped. <laughs> but look, I mean, you've got, what do you call those types of sacks? Bur burlap? Burlap. Yeah. Burlap. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is it about abandoned places where they have to have tons of flipping jars? Look, you've got quartz jars. You've got goodness knows how many. Hershey Kisses. <gasps> they have all their goodies in here. They're Ovaltine. All They're all empty though. Yeah. And look, there's a little kid's... Um, cupboard over there. Just don't want anything to crawl out on me or hiss or rattle. Empty. Yeah. Yeah, you empty. can tell the, how the whole thing's wobbling. It's yeah, empty. It's all empty. Yeah. All empty. Nothing exciting. Nope. But yeah, just dozens and dozens and dozens of jars. Crazy. Are these two by fours? Yep. Now, come on, you know what I'm going to say. No trip would be complete without a trip to the loo. Must be the men's. Wow. Because they've got a, that's a urino, isn't it? It is. And it's intact. 
Yeah, but somebody's still been using that loo there. Yeah, I've been uh, using it, but that's still intact as well. And the basin. Both basins are. Yeah, that's very strange. I like it. That one's still intact. And you don't want to go in that one, but it's still intact. intact. Yeah, but it has been used a lot. And then, uh, I guess that's where the uh, hot water heater was sitting. What, the hot water heater? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's it. And then, of course, you've got the ladies next door, I would imagine. Oh, I was wrong. You don't hear me say that very often. No. <laughs> it's not the ladies' loo at all. It's an office with some beds and lots of moths flapping around. Wow, and then... Uh, I don't know whether or not windows? this was an office office. Windows? It's got a pin board. And it's got a bunch of beds. What uh, mattresses? Unless this is just afterwards people... Have... I was gonna say, you know what this could be? If you've got the toilets next door and it would be a prominent, prominently male environment they wouldn't have ladies necessarily i bet this could be their rec room you've got the fridge freezer a table is this where they could eat their lunch and then they've got the loo next door okay that's my theory yeah that makes sense that was a very interesting and unexpected find it was pretty neat isn't it